The first method we're going to get into is downloading via USB cable. So now we're going to open up Flute Connect. So double click and you should open up Flute Connect Desktop. And if you don't have this downloaded, what I'll do is I'll link a video where it shows you how to download Flute Connect. You will need that um, to get the software or to get the images off the camera. Once it comes up, this is where it's going to come up to, and you can see the different connections that it's telling you you can make. I'm going to take the USB cable and go ahead and plug it into my computer and into the camera. And my computer will acknowledge that it sees it. And here in a second, hopefully, we will see it. Okay, the computer is now seen the... TI-480 Pro, and it's connecting. Here is when it acknowledges that, hey, look, by the way, we do have a new firmware. We can do that. I will go ahead and do that, and I'll fast forward through the process for you guys so you don't have to watch all this. When you do download or try to update your firmware on your camera, you'll notice you will get a progress bar both in the software and on the camera. Once the firmware has been updated, just note that your camera will shut itself off and you will have to turn it back on. When the camera shuts off, you will know that the firmware update has been completed and you are finished with the update. Now that the firmware is updated, you do need to turn the camera back on. To turn the camera back on, so it's going to need to reboot, and then after it reboots, we will see it here on the desktop. Okay, as you can see there, the Fluke Connect desktop was not picking up the TI-480 Pro, so I just closed it out and restarted it, and now we can see our camera here as well as we can hit download. From here, we're gonna say download all or select files, your choice. I'm gonna select files. We don't need to download all of them. Uh, let's do the one I did today and we'll hit download. Pick a place for it to go. you want to de the, delete the downloaded measurements from your tool memory. You can either say delete or cancel. I'm going to hit cancel. We'll leave those on there. Now we can go over here to measurements. We said it was in Flute Connect, Cloud. I think it was under new folder. And I think it's probably this one. Nope. There we go. You can switch your view from the little thumbnail or to like a true thumbnail. So click that view, that little button up there, that'll help you. This is the one I took today and I downloaded and now I can double click it and get into my editing mode and go through my edit. Okay, so we have now successfully downloaded via the USB cable.